Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to my channel. And today's video is all about heat proof fragrances. It is only June the 1st. I hadn't planned on doing this video for a while, but it got up to 90 degrees. And so I think this summer is going to be a scorcher. So it's time to be pulling out those heat friendly fragrances. I know I will. I think I only have around 10. Now this is not a complete list because I plan on doing a separate video on niche fragrances for the summer and clean fragrances, cleanly formulated. I've had, I have had several of you ask me to do video or videos about clean fragrances and I have an enormous amount of clean fragrances so I can do videos on that. So these are the remaining fragrances. Fragrances, perfumes that I have worn in times past that I think do well when it is scorching hot like the 90 degrees that it is today. So if this is your type of video, please stick around. And if you have any fragrances that are great for the hot weather, let me know in the comments below. And with that, let's just get started. So if you are new to my videos, I try to run the gamut with regards to price point. I tried to include all price points I have subscribers who are really into their highfalutin, their fancy niche fragrances. And I have a lot of subscribers who have a more limited budget and are more interested in the budget-friendly options. I'm going to start with a budget-friendly perfume that is also a niche perfume. It is called Aegean Salt and Citrus, and this is by Theodorus Calatinus. I have several in this line, and I love basically all of them. This is very much summer in a bottle. I think there's only three notes listed grapefruit, lemon, and salt. And to me, this just smells, there's also something a teensy bit woody, maybe aromatic, maybe pine needles in here. But this to me smells like you are riding around in a boat somewhere and you just finished an iced tea that had a lot of lemon in it. You drank the iced tea and whatever's left in the glass is diluted with those ice cubes. So it's like a dil very diluted, lemon heavy, tea, maybe with a rim of salt, or a diluted lemon heavy tea, and you're riding around in a boat and you're getting splashed with water, like seawater. So it almost has a sea mist vibe to it. Very, it's beachy without being sunscreeny. There's something very oceanic about it. So I think that the, the name is very appropriate. It smells kind of like salt water but without that seaweed note. I cannot, I don't like the note of seaweed. Fragrances that have that note in it, we don't get along. So this is actually very nice, very fresh. And if I didn't say already, this is priced, I wanna say 45, 50 euros. I've always been really, really happy with the customer service at this line. The next one, in my opinion, is misnamed. So this is Vetiver de Ivre, which in French means winter, so winter vetiver. This is a summertime fragrance, in my opinion. I mean, you can wear this in the wintertime, but the way the notes are composed, it just reads hot summer day. In fact, we bought this when we were in Italy. We were in Firenze, and it was a scorching hot day. We popped into the Giorgio Armani Boutique. I actually wanted to, I wanted to sniff some of the new releases of Giorgio Armani, and they just weren't doing it for me, and maybe it was because I had a little bit of headache and it was super hot. And we went back to this fragrance, and this was the fragrance we liked the best, both me, myself and Pat. And the sales associate at the store said it was his signature scent. It was the scent he was wearing that day. I will say it wears lightly, and I know at least Pat kind of goes anosmic to it at hour two or three. He says he can't smell it. I can smell it on him. It is one that we share. In fact, I wear this more than he does. And I think it's a very unisex Vetiver fragrance. Vetiver tends to be in more masculine leaning fragrances, but this is very unisex in my opinion. It's got a little bit of spices, so it's got like some pink pepper, it's got cardamom, and lots of citruses, at least three different types of citruses, grapefruit, lemon, orange, you know, something really, really bright. And it has a nice dry grassiness to it, but it's accompanied by those other notes. So it's not an overwhelming, you know, vetiver can smell almost musty sometimes. This does not go in that musty kind of zone because it's got those bright kind of zestier, peppier notes. So a great one in the hot weather. So I tend to really like the note of mint in a fragrance. I find it very refreshing and relaxing. So I like it in spa products and I like to wear mint 
I like to have mint in fragrances in the summer because I find it very refreshing. And I love it in this fragrance by ELDO. So they really kind of nailed, if I can spray it, the mint julep in here. Oh, this is so good. This is so photorealistic. So this is mint julep. So the mint in here is super realistic. It smells like the mint that grows wildly in my backyard, right way over there. It grows wild. It just goes, grows wild and out of control. And I like to make mint ice cream, but it's quite delicious. So you've got that, my mouth's watering again. You've got that mint julep and a little bit of green grassiness. So it's green minty and green grassy. And this one never goes into the toothpaste zone or a mouthwash, which is kind of the kiss of death for a mint fragrance in my opinion. And as it dries down, it has a really nice, kind of a fresh, slightly aquatic, I would call it watery, watery musk. So those notes just play so, so well together. Delicious, great in the hot weather. Another budget friendly option is one, it's a good one for casual day. I, this, I would call this a white t-shirt fragrance. It is by CK1, I think this is CK1 Gold, and I, this might be marketed towards men, but I definitely think it's unisex or a great shared fragrance. I think this has fig in it, but I don't get a heavy fig. This is a fresh citrusy fragrance that has lavender, but I definitely get a, a fresh, slightly sweet citrusy fragrance with a sweet lavender, maybe, okay. Maybe I'm getting the fig in the background, a sweet fig. So really, really nice, bright. I, I wanna say I paid 35 bucks for this enormous fragrance. And it's nothing groundbreaking, but it is a fabulous fragrance for when it's really, really hot and you need something easy grab and go. That's on the casual side. I will go for this one because it's not stellar in longevity, but it's just a nice, light, easy wear that is easy on the pocketbook. CK Gold, CK One Gold. So the ultimate summer drink on a hot day is by Simone Andrioli, Malibu Party in the Bay. You guys have seen me show this a million gajillion times. It is another terrific unisex fragrance. This is a Caprihana. This is a very lime forward fragrance. It's got a lot of lime, green notes, sugar cubes. It's delicious. This is a more budget friendly version of Creed's Island Water. So if you like Creed's Island Water, but you get palpitations when you look at the price tag, this is at least less than half. It's still not, it's still not a total budget perfume, but it's less than half that. And this has amazing lasting power for a citrus fragrance. This checks all the boxes. It's more budget friendly and it lasts a lot longer. And I personally like it better. And this is another one that Pat just loves. This is absolutely delicious particularly if you like lime mixed drinks and summer in a bottle on a hot day. Okay, the next one was almost on the chopping block. I got it out to film my coconut video and I hadn't worn it in a long, long time and I thought, why do I have it if I don't wear it? And I wore it again and loved it. I thought, wow, I don't remember loving this one as much as I do, but it is delicious and it is maybe my tastes have changed since i bought it but it's the house of siage this is mickey mouse this was an okay this was this was a like when i first bought it maybe a couple years ago now it's a love and it kind of reminds me of a little bit of my estee lauder bronze goddess of flesh because there's an amberiness to it this is like a salt a slightly more salty or saline version of Estee Lauder's Bronze Goddess because it has coconut, like a coconut nectar, coconut, I'm trying to find my blotter, coconut ne nectar, coconut milk, kind of a thing going on. It's got some citruses, some florals, but there's definitely a little saltiness in here that is not in that Bronze Goddess, but it has that delicious amber. I remember when I first got this, it was a little bit more, I don't know, maybe spicy, and I know there's cardamom in here, I really don't get the cardamom at all now, and I used to get it when I first wore it, so maybe it just needed time to sit and macerate for that beautiful, thick, ambery vanilla to come out. So even though it does have amber in it, kind of amber, ambers typically don't do well in the heat, at least in my opinion. Is it raining? How could it rain? It's 90 degrees. Oh my gosh, it's been a sweltering hot day and now I see a, an ugly cloud there. I'm gonna try to 
trying to get through these. Hopefully I'll miss the rain because it was literally a scorching, it was literally scorching hot up until about five minutes ago and all of a sudden it's kind of breezy. So it might rain on me, we'll see. But this one is a perfect one to wear in the summer on a hot, hot day. As long as you like coconut, little coconut, amber, a touch of florals, a touch of citruses. It is beautiful. And again, as far as longevity, I would call it moderate. None of these are gonna be powerhouses. If they were, they probably wouldn't wear as well in the sweltering heat. Next one, I'm gonna go with kind of a longtime favorite of mine. This one was in, this one has been in many, many videos and it is called Nothing But Sea and Sky. I've put a nice little dent in it. This is a great year-round fragrance. It is a fresh sandalwood. It's a sandalwood with citrus and musk, and it's a very, very easy, clean sandalwood. It can be worn in the cold, and it can be worn in the sweltering heat because the sandalwood is light, the musk is light, and the citruses are light. So it's kind of the perfect like white t-shirt fragrance. I absolutely love it. It is light wearing. I tend to coat myself when I wear this, but it's never suffocating. One of my all time favorite fragrances right here. Okay, I'm going to do a separate video on summer vanillas, which tend to be salty. This fragrance right here is a great summer vanilla that's not salty. And it is a great gateway vanilla, and I've said that before, and it is gypsy, and it's by Rado's Gypsy Water. This is a, a very light, citrusy aromatic vanilla again it's a vanilla for people who don't want to smell like food the vanilla in there is clean but it's accompanied by some really fresh notes a little bit of aromatic notes like pine or pine needles but it doesn't smell like a forest and i know there's incense in here it does not come off incensey i think the little bit of incense is more like a little bit of warm woodiness in the base. This one, I struggle with this in the cold weather because the performance isn't great. This to me is a hotter weather perfume and it's where it shines the most because I can get the best performance out of it. And I layer this with the oil perfumery oil. It's called Gypsy Water from Oil Perfumery. I layer the two in the summertime. I always spray on my exposed skin and on my chest or thorax, on my clothes. So I get clothes and skin. And so when I'm spraying on skin, I'm gonna layer that with an oil below it or a lotion. And with this, if I combine the oil with the perfume, I can get this to last me at least six hours. And I do have to overspray a bit, but it's just a beautiful, non-salty vanilla that's great for hot weather. Another mint forward fragrance that is great for the hot weather is Herba Fresca by Aqua Allegoria, and this is by Guillain. So compared to you or someone like you, this is less sweet. Oh, did you hear that thunder? I've got three to get through. Let's see if I can do it. It's less sweet. It's a little bit more earthy. It's not quite bitter. There's a little bit of a tea note in here, and the the, the T note is a little bit more prominent, or the T note is prominent, and the mint note is a lot more tamed down. It's a little bit more earthy and green. Very refreshing. It's also a lot more citrusy than you or someone like you. So that's more mint heavy, a little bit sweeter. This is more citrusy, has more of a T note, and slightly more earthy, but they're great fragrances that are very, very refreshing, that happen to have a mint note in them, but are very, very different, and both wear wonderfully in the hot weather. Again, this line, none of these are powerhouse fragrances. This included, this is around four hours. The next one is probably the most unisex of the bunch, and I'm gonna tell you the bottle factor into me purchasing this fragrance in addition to it being a tea fragrance that I enjoy, and it's very, very unisex. It's the most unisex of the bunch, and this to me, so this is called The Time by the House of Oud. So this is a little woody. It definitely has tea in here. The tea I pick up is a chamomile tea. It has just a little bit, something slightly bitter. I don't know if this has mate in it, but there's a little herbal greenness that is slightly bitter in this. I can detect it in the background and it's one of the few one of the reasons I don't love all tea notes or tea fragrances, I don't like a bitter tea. And I don't like it when fragrances, tea fragrances go bitter. That's not my favorite part. This one kind of goes in that direction, but doesn't get there. So it has a little bit of citruses, but it's not citrus heavy. And I will say the, the longevity isn't great. This has 
actually pretty poor longevity. I would say around three hours. I tend not to overspray tea fragrances because I don't want them to get, you know, kind of sharp, heavy, and bitter. But for the right person, this is a great fragrance, and I only wear this in the hot weather. And I also, like all these fragrances, I think I tested every single one of them before I bought them, including that one. The next one, this next fragrance is the epitome of a hot weather fragrance. I bought this on the last day of my Italy, Italian vacation. It was Rome and it was literally 100 degrees. I was scorching hot and we were walking around just, you know, just beet red, sweaty, and I still wanted to go perfume shopping and I just could not find anything that I wanted to wear or wanted to even buy or smell on a hot day. And we went into the Carthusia store and I smelled this fragrance. I was like, yep, this is it. I bought the whole line, the whole body care line, the bath, the body wash, the lotion, and the perfume, and this is Mediterraneo. This is the perfect ultimate fragrance that does well in the hot weather. Like I said, it was the only thing I wanted to wear when it was like 95 degrees, 100 degrees. This is like a tall glass of sweet lemonade. Now, I don't want to say sweet lemonade. How about it's lemonade that you make? This is like freshly squeezed lemonade with a little bit of sugar. So it's not bitter and it's not syrupy sweet. It's just like the perfect combination. This also has a little bit of a tea note, maybe green tea in here. It's very light tea. Yeah, I would definitely say green tea. So green tea, a little bit of mint, and a lot of lemonade. So maybe you mixed like 80-20 lemonade to a green tea with a little sprig of mint, you would come up with this uber refreshing. It is light wearing. One of the reasons I bought the, the whole body care line because I wanted to improve the longevity, but listen, if you wanna wear a perfume and it's 95 to 100 degrees, you're probably not gonna to wanna to wear a fragrance that's heavy and suffocating, so this is great. You know, it's small enough, you can re-spritz it, reapply, or just, just have a light scent bubble and not have a fragrance that lasts all day. But I absolutely adore this and one of the best hot weather fragrances around my Mediterraneo. So that was it, fragrances that I think are fabulous in the hot weather. I'm gonna do another video for cleanly formulated fragrances that are great in the summer. Many of those are gonna be great in the hot weather, and I will have that in a separate video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for always stopping by, saying hi, leaving me a nice comment in the comment section. And with that, I am going to say goodnight and run inside.